Hey there LEGO fans, welcome back, Alex here. I got some news to share with you guys today. It appears that LEGO has actually revealed the prices of these uh, five finalists from round one of the BrickLink designer program. We're gonna look at those today uh, so we can get <laughs> the sticker shock over with right now instead of waiting until we can actually order these on the uh, glorious crowdfunding day, which is just 29 days away. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys here. Uh, here it is, the Brooklyn Designer Program, designed by LEGO fans for experienced builders. There you go. All right, so we are looking at the round one finalists here. These are the five designs right here. And as I make this video, we are at 28 days, 13 hours and 54 minutes and some odd seconds before we can actually uh, do some crowdfunding ourselves. So uh, here we go. Now, if you guys remember this, uh, I did a video of this uh, some time ago, I believe, uh, looking at these uh, uh, these five designs, and two of them got me very excited. I'm sure if you guys know me and know what I like to collect, you'll know exactly what two designs I'm thinking of. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one here, which is the old train engine shed. Thank goodness this is gonna be something that we can purchase. And the final price is going to be $229.99. Uh, we have a joke about these, and that is uh, whatever price you think it's going to be at a hundred dollars. This isn't too far off. I think. I, no, I didn't watch my video. Uh, I don't know if I guessed the price tag of this thing. I'm guessing I probably guessed about a hundred to fifty, hundred and fifty dollars. So two hundred and thirty bucks, I guess, ain't bad. And I thought, whoa, two hundred and thirty bucks uh, for the uh, the train engine shed. That's kind of a lot. But when you think about the size of this thing, I think it puts it into a better perspective. So we look at this other image of it and we can see that it is on a 32 by 48 base plate, uh, which is a pretty good size. I mean, there's two train tracks here. Uh, you'll notice that they're not the real train tracks that Lego produces. These are, uh, it looks like they're brick built uh, for the most part. Uh, but regardless, this thing looks fantastic. I am still gonna do my best to grab this thing. If not, two of them for safekeeping would be pretty darn cool. So here, yeah, there it is, guys. Uh, $230 for the train engine shed. Um, how many pieces does this thing have? 2,331. So if we look at like the 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 uh, the price per piece, which I don't like doing. I'm not a fan of that because we all know prices are or pieces are different sizes. Um, but uh, this is right about that 10 cents uh, per uh, per piece uh, price tag there, which I guess is about. It's about right. So this is by Mind the Brick. So very well done, Mind the Brick. We are all very excited about the train engine shed and it makes you wonder why the heck hasn't Lego made more things like this that are mainstream that we can just buy off of the shelf, right? Come on, Lego. You have to have somebody do it on Brickling for you, apparently. All right, and yes, that is one of the two designs that I want. And this next one is also a design that I want, and that is the Mountain Fortress by Sleepless Night. This thing is the most expensive at $380 US dollars. Let's take another look at this thing really quick here. Uh, it looks beautiful from the front. However, when I look at the other image here, uh, we look at the back, it's open back. So it, it reminds me a lot of the Lion Knight's Castle. Now remember, the Lion Knight's Castle is a $400 castle. It uh, has a very large amount of minifigures. I wanna say it's around 20. I can't remember that for sure. I don't have it in front of me. Um, this thing looks like it doesn't have that many, near that many minifigures. Uh, Black Falcons, it looks like, is what we have in here. So if I can count these, one, two, three, four, five, six. For a $380 set, I really hope they throw some more minifigures in there and maybe another horse or so. Uh, but Black Falcons is what was uh, chosen to be the uh, masters of this uh, uh, fortress, the mountain fortress. Uh, piece count, just under 4,000. So as far as uh, price per piece, I think this is a decent value. However, it does have these hinges right here. So it does close up very similar to the Lion Knight's castle, which is the exact same thing. So it's very deceptive when we look at the front of this castle here. We're like, oh my gosh, it's got this massive tower and it's very large and long. However, this thing folds inward. We don't have an image of what it looks like when it's all folded up. So when we look at this, we can say, okay, it's gonna be closed up a little bit. Let's look at the dimensions here. I think it has dimensions. Yeah, here we go. Uh, so 40, and I don't know, yeah, it says model dimensions closed. Uh, so let's see, uh, about 18 inches. Uh, that's actually, 
Um, I want to say, let's see here, because about 10 inches is, is 32 studs, right? Uh, so it's more than uh, 46 uh, studs, I think, wide there. So that's pretty good. Uh, 15 uh, inches, so that's, yeah, about 40, uh, 48 studs uh, in length. Height, well, it is tall. Oh, um, so anyway, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, Black Falcons, there you go. This dude loves it. And this guy is interesting. He was born in 1981 in communist Poland. Of course, it was communist back then. That is pretty cool. What a cool story this guy has. Uh, anyway, 380 bucks. Uh, would I love to get two of these? Yeah. Uh, does my bank account disagree with me? Absolutely, it does. 380 bucks. Um, I'm, I'm going to be lucky, I think, if I'm able to grab just one of each of these. There's a limit of two. So if you get onto this thing very early um, when it comes up on the 7th of February at 8 a.m. Pacific time and you're able to put in two of those, then you are looking good. Well, I mean, uh, it's, it's a buy now, pay later, right? So you can pledge now and then they'll crank your credit card when these things come out, I think, in July. So Mount Fortress, 380 bucks. Youchers. Next one is the Parisian Street. I'm not too excited about this one. Uh, 320 bucks is a lot of money. Uh, it does look big on the front here. However, it does appear to be just a facade. Uh, it is open back, and I am pretty sure this thing is on a uh, 16 stud wide base here. It looks like it's 64. In fact, we can probably just prove that. Let's go down here. Um, seven and a half inches wide? I don't think see how that's possible. Am I missing something here? You know, it's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure, oh, it must be wider than uh, than 16 studs. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, the length is is agreeing with me. This The math of 64 studs is about 20 inches, so that's about right. Uh, but yeah, 320 bucks for what you get it is basically a facade. I mean, it's not just a facade, I get that. This thing's got a hustle and bustle going on in the interior, which is fantastic. Um, but uh, I, I like the enclosed buildings. I like the modular designs that we get. So that's more my uh, my go-to. So 3,500 pieces uh, for 319 bucks. Um, that does appear to beat the 10 cents per piece uh, threshold, I guess, if we were going to choose a threshold. I don't know. So there's Parisian Street. Let me know if you guys are picking that up or any of these, really. Uh, the last two here, we got the General Store, $160. I think that's actually pretty good for what we're getting here. Uh, let me see if I can open this thing up here. We get three pictures instead of just the two. I wish they gave us more pictures of these things uh, so we can know what we're pledging our money for, right? Uh, but yeah, this is the General Store, 1852. I like the buzzard up here. The brick-built buzzard reminds me of the creator sets. They always have the brick-built animals. Uh, but let's see here. Let's look inside here. It does have a modular roof. We also get a wagon. Very cool. I don't know how many minifigs come with this thing. We got one, two, three, four. I think there's a dude hanging up there on the roof for a gunfight. Maybe that's five. I don't know. Maybe another dude inside. I, I can't tell. Uh, but 1,900 pieces for 160 bucks. Yeah, again, that beats the uh, the 10 cents. Uh, beats it pretty good, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one looks like it's uh, yeah 14 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. Uh, so that is a decent looking building. I will give them that. So there's the general store, 160 US dollars. And last but not least is the Snack Shack, which is the smallest and I guess more affordable uh, model of the five at 50 US dollars. Just take a look at this thing if my Laptop will open it up here. So the Snack Shack has 539 pieces, right at that 10 cents per piece threshold. I'm not going to pick this thing one, uh, this thing up though. I mean, it's cool, it's cute, um, but it's nothing that gives me like, oh wow, this is like a rare thing I want uh, for my city. So it's cool, uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, let's go back here and just kind of look at these as a summary. Five great looking designs. Two, I really, really want to love that mountain fortress. I love the old train engine shed. Those are the two that I'm going to definitely try to get. Uh, I would love to actually get two train engine sheds. I think that'd be really cool to grab two of those. I don't think I can afford the uh, two of the mountain fortress because you think about it, like if let's say that I get what I want, I, I get two of each, right? Um, that's like 500 bucks for the train engine shed. And oh my gosh, uh, that's way over a thousand bucks, uh, 1200, 1300 bucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, the wife would not like that. That's a lot of money for just, well, four Lego sets, but really cool Lego sets. You could say 
rare Lego sets, right? But anyway, guys, that's those are the prices. Let me know what you guys think. Were those higher than you expected? Were they lower than you expected? Are you going to pick up some of these, all of these, one of these, or none of these? Or are you just looking at the Brickling program going, ah, heck with it. I'm not going to get one because it's just one of those things where people rush to and they exploit it by buying these sets and then flipping them on Bricklink and making a bunch of money, making the rest of us look like suckers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.